we're closing the coastline, the wind's dying away again. High tide at 8 o'clock, so we've got five hours to play around. This time it took 24 hours for the passage from the Solent to the approaches to St. Valerian Cove. It's now two hours before high water and we're approaching the entrance to the outer harbour. As you can see, even close in shore, there's still two knots of tide running to the east. This time I was sailing single-handed, and was grateful to see the mooring buoys, which we tied up to temporarily, while we waited for the water over the sill to rise to four foot and for the bridge to open. And a panoramic view of the marina in the inner harbour. and a view of the outer harbour at low water. and another panoramic view, this time, of the coastline stretching towards Dieppe. I spent two days at St. Valerian Co, and then, with a favourable weather forecast, set off for a night passage towards Trouville.
Standing by. Dover, white. Variable becoming southwesterly, three or four. Fair, moderate with fog. Well, a very quiet night, and sunrise saw us off the entrance of Fakel. As the sun came up, so the breeze increased off the land. And here we're approaching that distinctive landmark, Cap Antifa. And we're now crossing the approach channel to the Antifa oil terminal. It cap to the head and are now slipping past La Havre. We carried on south across the Seine estuary and we're now approaching Troville.